How does grocery delivery in China work? Is it convenient? Is it fast? Is it expensive? Let's find out in today's video. Groceries and food delivery have developed rapidly during the last couple of years, especially after the COVID pandemic. Obviously, in some places it works better and in some worse, but let's find out how it works here in a big city in China. Before we start, I want to know from you, where you live, do you have reliable and cheap food or grocery delivery to your doorstep, to your home? How does it work? Are you satisfied with it? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, welcome to today's video. My name is Mark and I'm in Chengdu city. Chengdu's weather today, as always, sunny and hot. <laughs> it is 36 degrees Celsius here in Chengdu today and it's actually quite mild <laughs> because we did have hotter already this week and it's going to get hotter again but today 36 is actually quite acceptable, quite bearable. However, I did receive an extreme weather warning on my phone today in the morning so it's still really really hot. It is 1.18 p.m. right now it's 1 18 p.m. and i just ordered my food my groceries i ordered a lot of stuff and now let's check first how long it'll take until it arrives from the supermarket to my home doorstep <laughs> So, after almost exactly one hour, one hour and uh, four minutes, my delivery, my groceries arrived. I'll just show you first what I bought today. So, first of all, I bought these frozen berries and ice cubes. Those have to go in the freezer first. So, the frozen items came in... Uh, kind of a cooling box so it is super hot outside that's why if you have those things delivered if you don't cool them properly they're just gonna melt until they get to your doorstep all right this is freshly cut beef and cheese i really love cheese for breakfast then we have a couple of small things here this is uh oat milk and some orange juice then asparagus for today and a box of eggs. In the last bag I bought some freshly baked croissants and this one is actually in a, yeah, kind of like to keep the temperature or keep the heat inside in a small packaging. I'll show you what that is. These are some freshly barbecued clams <laughs> and they always give you these plastic gloves so you don't make your hands dirty <laughs> so those were all my groceries delivered from the supermarket freshly to my home to my doorstep in about one hour around 64 minutes of time do you think that's fast in a city of around 22 million people or do you think it could be faster let me know in the comments below so for all of these things, I spent 190 RMB, which equals around 27 or 28 US dollars. I mean, I didn't buy many things, but still, I think I got some decent stuff. It's enough for today, maybe for half of the day tomorrow. And I think the price is quite okay. So how much did actually the delivery cost? It was a zero. It's free. Delivery of this particular supermarket is free because probably their prices are kind of upscale are a little bit higher than in most or normal supermarkets but anyways this is a very very nice service if you order like from ten dollars and above they just deliver freely within 30 to 60 minutes to your house really nice so as i said this particular supermarket is my choice basically every day for buying my groceries but what about the ordinary food delivery if you just want 
I don't know, some noodles, a pizza, things like that. It is actually also quite convenient here in Chengdu or in China generally. There's a big choice of food, that's the first point. Especially when it comes to Chinese or local food, there's like thousands of restaurants advertising on these platforms. So there's surely something for everyone. Secondly, it's also relatively cheap. If you have something delivered to your house, usually it's between two and let's say eight kwai. Anything over eight kwai is already like really, really expensive. And the third and also very important point is that the delivery is just fast. Usually you can get your stuff within 30 to 60 minutes after you ordered it. Honestly, I think Chinese delivery services are awesome just because of the three points that I told you right now. This is definitely something that is really nice about life in China. And if I would decide to move to another country or go back to Germany, that's definitely something that I would miss. Now, I haven't been back home in almost three years already, and I don't know how the delivery industry and service has developed th uh, during that time, but I remember when I was in Germany, we didn't have so much choice and the delivery was super expensive. It took like an hour, sometimes two. So basically it wasn't as convenient or as pleasant as let's say here in China. So obviously you have a lot of people here in Chengdu. There's a huge demand for delivery services just because of time reasons or because of the location or now in this weather, nobody wants to walk or to ride a bike to the nearby restaurant and pick up their stuff. That's why obviously here in China, there's a bigger market. That's why if it's more developed, that's also quite normal. Anyways, what are your thoughts on the delivery that I received today? Do you think it was fast? Do you think it's expensive? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today's content. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still sticking around, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting videos from China and the rest of the world too. As always, thank you for watching and see y'all in the next video.